And so this is the ArcCAD window that we were working on last time. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not seeing what I'm doing here. There we go, much better. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that. And so what we were working on previously was this little table right here, our trapezoidal table. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just isolate it and look at it in 3D. So that's our trapezoidal table on top of the ground. I'm going to go ahead and hide the, the actual ground as well. I want to remind everybody about our quick layers palette, one of my favorite tools in the software. It allows me to isolate layers really easily. I can toggle it back and forth. Now, when I look at this table, it is really, I mean, it's fine. It's okay. I'll select it. I'll do Control T or Command T on Macintosh. Bring up its settings dialog, and it's fine. I mean, we there's our floor plan, elevational view, an axometric view, and then our materials. But there are no material controls for this object. Now I have control the height of the table. I can so I could set that to be a tall table, say three foot six, and the legs will get longer. I can set the height of the table, we'll go or the depth of the table to four feet, and make it four feet by say eight feet. Big table. And that all will work accordingly. And it maintains its ratios. So if I now use my measure tool and I measure, since there's no snap point there, I'll just have to do it approximately. And the problem is that I can't measure the top. Let's see if I can find a snap point. Uh, there's no snap point at the top of this table, so that's not going to work. But that's we know that that table is probably the right thickness. And, of course, the way we would measure that is to just toss in a ele quick elevation here and look at this table in an elevational view. So there's my table, and no matter what I do to this table, this tabletop is going to be one inch thick. And so that means the legs are primarily what are changing. And in fact, when I set the height of the table, it is the height of the legs that I'm setting. And that has to do with the GDL script. So what we need to do is we need to take a look and see how this GDL script is actually designed to work. Now, I just realized I forgot something that I can do in my new and improved ArchiCAD. If I want to take a look at this, I can go to right, let me close some of this up. I can go to my 3D documents and create a new 3D document right of this and Call it table axon. And so now I'm in a working model of this table. And I can actually, what's nice about this, do document settings. If I don't want to see colors, I will just turn them off.
Okay, there we go. So there's my line work. Now I can measure this table leg right from the bottom up to here. I may have to do this another day. I'm not getting anything that I'm expecting, which makes me think. What we're going to do is we are going to focus on the floor plan and that elevation. So this is the object. We're going to go ahead and open the object. The shortcut for opening an object So we'll go ahead and open the object, and what we do, of course, is we'll go to the File menu, Libraries and Objects. We've selected the table, so all we have to do now is go to Open Object. Now, if you're working on objects regularly, you want to learn that keyboard shortcut for it. On Windows, it's Command Shift O. On Macintosh, it's Open. Uh, I'm sorry, Option Command O. And so here's the object. Now, what are we planning to do here? First, when we look at this object, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. We'll go to our 3D view. I'm going to switch my mode to internal 3D engine because this is how it renders. And I want a hidden, hidden line so I can really see this clearly. Now, when I look at this object from underneath, we can make a choice here. Do we want that table? Is there any rotational? items that we want to think about. Now that's where we would have to get into some math. I'm not sure I want to do that, but these are the kind of things that we need to think about. And so there certainly are color things, because when I render this, it's uh, well, pretty much monocolor because it hasn't had any material assigned to it. So what we're focusing on today is that we're going to focus on adding parameters, adding variables in here, and then moving them, assigning them in the right location. So let's go ahead and assign some variables. The first one we might want to do is say the tabletop thickness. So I'll add a new variable. I'll look at all the different parts of this variable and we'll learn how to how to set it up correctly. So this is going to be called tabletop thickness. I'm old fashioned this way. I like to type in my variable name in this format. Now you can do it however you like. You can see ARCHICAD, the people who design ARCHICAD put in AC for an ARCHICAD parameter, underscore, and then the type of element that it is. It doesn't matter to me. I want the tabletop thickness. This way I know exactly what that variable name is. Now this is the hardest thing to get, is this is the name of a variable. 
what what is a variable that's kind of the hardest thing to get at well let's finish doing this one and then we'll talk about how that works for now take it for granted the name of the variable is tabletop thickness and this is what gets put into the script to describe well tabletop thickness table top thickness now as we saw on our agenda, 